absolutely cured! Yes! Yes! Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Uh, if you wonder why I'm putting on all these uh, LGHD TV little clips in the beginning, it's because I'm pretty upset that, uh, you know, men for Memorial Day, the, the guys that saved countries get one day. But apparently if you decide, I don't know, you like to kiss people of the same gender, or you want to be the opposite one, you get an entire month. And it kind of ticks me off. So yeah, I'm going to call it out for June 1st. Happy June 1st day. Anyway, uh, women are trying to trash their boyfriend's testosterone levels. Um, you know, what I find crazy about this is women always say they want the bad boy. They want the strong alpha male. They want the, the, the lead dog, right? And then when they get him, what do they, we always hear women marry or date the man and then they want to change him. They want to turn him into the man they want him to be. Where men date women and marry women and they want them to stay exactly the same and then the women change. Well, this is this kind of went viral. And this is from a, a Marie at Pasty, um, ironically. And she uh, says, having fun, I'm an independent journalist. DM me about my remineral, remineralizing toothpaste. She's got 66,000 followers. And this post that she made got 32,000 likes. Now, as always, I'll say this. Please do not go out and give these people a hard time. You know, uh, she's allowed to have her opinion no matter how stupid it is. But I'm going, I am going to warn guys because it's not just the fact that she made this post. She is just one person on the internet with pretty bad takes. It's that 32,000 other women like this and 8,000 people have bookmarked it, including myself, because I wanted to remind myself to talk about this video. So I did a roll up of the video, which is you can tell Twitter to roll it up into one thread and it's called Thread Reader. I'm going to read this. But it, it just tells you that women will sabotage a man and they will do harm to him and they will mess with him and they will screw with him to keep him or to change him or to modify him. And, and it's something to really be afraid of and aware of. I'm going to read into this and you'll see what I'm talking about. So Marie says, uh, how to lower your boyfriend's testosterone, a thread. Everyone wants to lock down a high T man. They're more attractive and more fun. Unfortunately, once you have them, you are constantly worried that their high levels of T will cause them to do something crazy or to cheat on you. That's why you have to manipulate his hormones. Now, let me just ask you guys out there. If I published something saying, uh, guys, here's a way to manipulate your woman's hormones to make sure that she doesn't go out and cheat on you and she stays a loyal girlfriend. Don't you think I'd be on the cover of probably a dozen magazines as the worst human being to ever exist? Well, of course I would. But here, she's cheered on by 32,000 other women. Uh, she says, uh, first thing you have to work on is his career. He probably does something for work that requires him to be on his feet or use his body in some way. You need to nip that in the bud. Slowly convince him to take a coding job. Make connections in the field so it's easy for him. Whatever you do, ensure that his income is dependent on him spending 8 to 10 hours a day, sedentary, and staring at a screen. Make sure he works for a very large and important company that tries to get a lot of work out of him and controls his time. When they're not controlling his time, you have to. Plan all events and activities in advance. Ask him for favors and give him projects to do. Now, doesn't this sound like she's talking to a puppy dog? Telling women, here's how you, here's how you train your puppy. Here's how you train your man to make sure he behaves. That he speaks only when spoken to. He lays down when you tell him. And don't take him out for too many walks because he might be athletic enough to run away. Keep him chained in the basement. That's literally what this sounds like. Um, slowly and without him noticing, take over his time. Make sure his brain is lazy and he becomes complacent on your lists and planning. Anytime he has an idea of his own or wants to do something, counteract it with something cozy. He wants to go to the gym, get sexy and ask him to stay home with you. Or host boys night with his friends where they drink, uh, or host boys night with his friends where they drink 
uh, estrogenic beer together and watch sports. Now, what's ironic is this is actually a thing. If you are a beer, big beer drinker, it has been shown to lower testosterone levels. So I don't think this is sarcasm. It sounds like she really has looked into this and, and has some idea of what she's talking about, which is quite frightening, to be honest with you. Uh, re get really into video games and play them with him. Encourage his video game habit any way you can. Again, keeping him sedentary. Encourage him to spend money on gaming, gaming devices, and also buy things for you so he will always need to earn, never be able to break free of the corporate grind. Make sure he spends a lot of money on and eats a lot of food, especially food from restaurants and anything maximally processed. Stay away from fruit, vegetables, and meat. This really blows me away. Like she's put some serious thought into this. Tell him you love dad bods. Rub his belly and give him tons of compliments so he doesn't get insecure about his body. At some point, he's going to start missing his manly lifestyle, so you have to give him consolation prizes. Now, if you ask me, she is a complete consolation prize. And this is nothing but pure manipulation. <laughs> and 32,000 women are like, yes, you go, girl. Get him, get him into manly hobbies that actually lower testosterone, like sampling craft IPAs and paying meticulous attention to facial hair. Buy him this kind of stuff. I don't, I don't think paying a meticulous attention to your facial hair lowers your testosterone. I'm just saying. Uh, if he is image conscious and starts really panicking, go nuclear. Get him to go on SARM. I don't know what that is. What is SARM? Okay, let me let me look this up real quick. I, I'm let me just look this up. SARM. What is this? An RS, a global channel provider? No, that's not it. Inside bodybuilding, the best SARMs. What is it? What is this? Is what I'm looking at. Selective androgen receptor modulators. They can mimic the, the majority of anabolic steroid benefits with less side effects. Oh, probably because if you're taking... If you're taking artificial stuff, it'll lower your natural, it'll lower your natural testosterone. And then when he comes off them, it wrecks his body maybe. Oh man, uh, convince him this will get him uh, his sexy body back. It will make him have bigger muscles, but his sex drive will go way down and he'll never cheat on you. Okay. All right. So she's saying basically, hey, if you want to get back to the gym, take this stuff. It'll help you get really muscular, but your drive will go down so you won't. But here's the thing. Everything she's saying, okay, I'll, I'll save that for the end. I'll save it for the end. Uh, start getting him super into politics. It doesn't matter what kind, just turn him into an ideologue. Whatever his way his family leans will probably be best. Just make sure a political or social identity functions as his daddy and he has less uh, and he has to obey it without ever thinking for himself. That's how you know she's a leftist because liberals and independents and anarcho-capitalists and anarchists and conservatives, we all think, we all think for ourselves. Uh, we don't just listen to what, we just don't listen to what people tell us and then follow along like a tribe. Some people do. Some people on all those political things do, maybe conservatives, uh, but the rest of them very rarely do. Uh, just make sure his political or, uh, or social. Okay, I read that. High T men are more fun at first, but the love between you is solidified. Him becoming low T won't matter anymore, and you have to protect the relationship at all costs. Sometimes women have to make these choices to keep society functioning, and that's just the way it is. Now, let me let me tell you something, and here's what's ironic, okay? Because 32 other thousand women also were like, yes, I like this idea, because they, they like the video. Here's the beautiful irony of all this. Let's say that you're this guy and she messes with you and you think you're in love. I think it's happened to all men where you're like, oh, I'll just make little sacrifices and I don't need to eat as well and go to the gym as often because I have a girlfriend. And, and maybe you're a guy that doesn't cheat. Well, if you're a player, none of this will work because you're not, you're, you're, you're not, it's not going to work for you because you're not going to let her kind of control the way you think and you're going to be too busy out there chasing tail and, and tap and slam pieces uh, to be bothered with this. 
the type of guy this will work on is the guy that actually wants to be a boyfriend, that actually wants to probably date her. And if she, if she manages to secure a high testosterone, muscular, good looking, athletic guy, who's you know good in the bedroom and all the other stuff, and she does this to him, here's the sweet, sweet irony of it all. She will completely wreck him, and then she will look at him and be saying to herself, he's not high enough value anymore. I don't like the way he looks. He's soft. He's not masculine. All the things that she found attractive about him in the beginning are now gone. And so what will she do? She will leave him. She'll put him on the back burner. She'll find another guy. She'll chase after him. She'll get him. She'll dump this guy. And then she'll start the process all over again. And I think, a, I can't say a lot of women are doing this, but there are definitely women out there that will do this to where they'll get a high value man. And he's so high value based versus who they are that they will completely try to wreck him and pull him down to their level. And then once you do, she'll lose attraction for you. It happens. You know, when, when most guys get the girl, uh, they're, they're more headstrong, they're more in their own space, they're more doing their own things. And after a year or two, and she texts you and says, oh, can you help me with this? Or can you, you're, you're much more likely to be like, sure, I'll, I'll help you because you know you love them, you care about them, you want the best for the women. And men naturally pr protect and provide. And this is a woman that takes advantage of that. She's telling women how to manipulate this every way, shape, and form she can. And when it's all done, he's wrecked, he's trashed, he's gonna, it's gonna take him six months to rebuild himself, and she'll, she'll just wander off looking for another dude or cheat on him to find another guy. You know, as I said in an earlier video today, uh, the one about the sharks and the, the dude jumping off the boat and getting eaten to impress women, more and more people are gonna go over the top to try to get attention. Uh, this, this thread by her has 32,000 likes. And if you go to her main page, and again, I'm not, please do not go give the, this person a hard time. If you go to her main page and look at her, her non-pinned tweets, right? 110 likes, uh, 2,600 likes, 100 likes, 156 likes, 68, 604. You know, most of these are between 50 and, you know, 500, maybe a couple thousand. This last one she did, 32,000 likes. And, and what this tells women like this and people that watch this comment, uh, commentary is they're like, hey, you know what? This went viral. This went popular. This got you a lot of likes. Do more of this. It's social conditioning. And she'll see this and she'll say, wow, this thread really took off. A lot of people agree with this. I'm gonna do more content like this. And not only does it kind of make her go crazy and, and run her down a rabbit hole, but it'll, it'll make a lot of other people that like this content run down rabbit holes. Now you could say, well, you know, a lot of people like your content and maybe you're chasing them down rabbit holes. The, the rabbit hole I'm telling them is not harm people, not bother people, not mess with people. Leave everybody alone. Learn to become independent. Do your own thing. You know, become self-reliant. Hit the gym. Become become wealthy if that's what you want. Like self-improvement. Hers isn't self-improvement. Hers is how to trash and ruin other people. That's dangerous to me. I think it's a big warning sign. And uh, just another reason to get out, get away from all this stuff and get the heck out, man. I'm telling you, these these women have just gone nuts. They've just gone nuts. Uh, I'll leave it there, guys. Uh, I may have one more out for us this afternoon about the finance world and money and how, why I think everything's going to fall off a cliff. Uh, if not, I'll, maybe I'll put it out later on tonight, but we'll see you in the next one, guys. Mm -hmm.